Yeah, Peter here from um, Pacific Trading Post, uh, and I'm just actually working on a project I saw online, and uh, and it's a, a an evaporative cooling system that that first uses a, a salt water desiccant to dry the air, and then and then cool the air. And so I've bought a bunch of PVC pipe and connectors, and and I'm playing Meccano sets with it at the moment. Um, I've got got a couple of fans, and a couple of water pumps. Um, to, to pump the water through um, and so I think I've got most of the parts you know these things uh, projects like this are never you never build these because they're cheaper you build them because you're trying to um, um, uh, solve a problem that that um, uh, that might help other people you know um, and so normal air conditioners are really expensive on power and the idea with this one was that it would be a lot cheaper on power. So we'll, we'll see how that happens because it uses natural processes, um, like as in salt water, um, uh, to dehydrate the air, whereas uh, air conditioner uses a compressor um, and a lot of the energy that's used in compressing the air um, is, is in forcing the water out of the air. So, um, uh, so that's one of the reasons why air conditioners aren't as efficient. And so there's lots of combinations of that, but anyway, I've just boiled the kettle and I'm wanting to test my, my little pump to see whether it'll suck up salt water uh, and whether it'll suck it up from a, from a fair head height. So I've got that wrapped up over the balcony and, um, and I'm just gonna dissolve a kilo of salt. So I thought that might be, you know, interesting. Um, so I just boiled that and make it dissolve a bit faster. And uh, I don't know, I know how um, much water I need to dissolve a kilo of salt, whether it'll dissolve in one litre of water or, or what, but we'll see. Um, one kilo of salt and one litre of water is, is about a 50% ratio, isn't it? So, um, now, I actually, um, yeah, well, I had a... Uh, a litre and a half, so I could probably put another 200 mils of water in there. There you go, the kettle's got a handy little gauge on the side of it. So, um, <coughs> that's a bit of dissolving, obviously. I thought it would dissolve really, really quickly. But, um, you know, the first, the first part of it dissolved fairly quickly, but then, then this bit's taking its time. I guess it gets to a saturation point, but you can see the salt's still up to about there on the, on the tub. So, <coughs> chemists out there wouldn't have to do these little experiments and know exactly what was going on. Oh, that seems to have um, made it dissolve a lot more. Okay. Well, I've actually got 10 kilos of salt to dissolve into this project um, because I thought <coughs> there's going to be, you know, uh, at least 10 litres of water in the system. And so I thought 50% ratio um, would be the ratio that I'd want. But, um, but maybe I'm not going to be able to get that much salt dissolved into, into that much water, I don't know.
it down a little bit. Yeah, we're now in a minute. I'll come back when it's done.